Five cars finished on the lead lap in the Food City 500 today at Bristol Motor Speedway. And you would think that was a bad race, but no, it was one of the most amazing races I've seen from NASCAR in the last four or five years at Bristol. Bristol's had some interesting ones. Obviously, we had the situation with, um, what's his name? Um, a couple years ago, finishing second to Hamlin. Hamlin just won this race. There was tire wear. There was strategy. There was tire fall off. If you ever watched NASCAR in the mid 2000s, you remember all that dirt up on the top of the racetrack, that black stuff. Well, that's rubber coming off a tire. That was back uh, because the tires wore so much in a good way. It wasn't like the 2008 Brickyard 400. I could see Goodyear making tires that lasted a little bit longer because nine sets of tires plus the qualifiers, every set of tires over a 500 lap run. I could see him going back to 13, 14, 15 tires. Uh, next week's Circuit of the Americas, Martinsville's coming up soon. We'll see what happens there. <laughs> After the stinker they put on last week, this next gen car, this racetrack, and those tires, driver input was massive. Yeah. The massive fall off on the tires was bad in some cases, but drivers were able to actually have input on it. <laughs> this is one of the most NASCAR season has gone so well. The thing about last week with Phoenix just not being a good race, Phoenix just straight up isn't a good racetrack. This was such a good race. I am very excited to see where NASCAR can go with this short track package, um, especially with Martinsville coming up. Because Martinsville's always been one of my favorite racetracks because I always got a lot of fun stuff happening. Plus, I think it was the first racetrack I ever... It was either Bristol or Martinsville was the first racetrack I ever won at in a NASCAR video game. And they're absolutely amazing. So, yeah, this worked out really well. They did good things this week.